Hey everyone welcome to Aero Raider the Boeing EA-18G Growler stands as a cornerstone in modern electronic warfare, serving as the US Navy's premier carrier-based electronic attack aircraft. Derived from the FA-18F Super Hornet, the Growler integrates advanced EW systems with formidable combat capabilities, ensuring dominance in the electromagnetic spectrum. Introduced in 2009 to replace the aging EA-6B Prowler, the EA-18G was developed to meet the evolving demands of electronic warfare. Sharing over 90% of its components with the Super Hornet, including the airframe and Raytheon and APG-79 AESA radar, the Growler benefits from streamlined maintenance and operational familiarity. The primary distinctions lie in its EW-specific equipment, such as the removal of the internal 20mm cannon to accommodate electronic warfare systems and the addition of wingtip pods housing the NALQ-218 wideband receivers. At the heart of the Growler's prowess is its comprehensive suite of electronic warfare systems designed to disrupt, deceive, and degrade enemy radar and communication networks. Key components include, an ALQ-218 wideband receivers, mounted on the wingtips, these receivers detect and analyze a broad spectrum of electromagnetic emissions, providing situational awareness of potential threats. An ALQ-99 tactical jamming pods, capable of emitting powerful jamming signals across multiple frequencies, these pods suppress enemy radar and communications, protecting allied forces during operations. Next Generation Jammer, NGJ set to replace the ALQ-99, the NGJ system introduces enhanced jamming capabilities with increased range, power, and the ability to simultaneously target multiple frequencies. The NGJ mid-band achieved initial operational capability in January 2025, marking a significant advancement in the Growler's EW potential. Despite its specialization in electronic warfare, the Growler retains formidable offensive and defensive capabilities. Equipped with nine hardpoints, it can carry a mix of external fuel tanks, jamming pods, and weaponry. Typical loadouts include AGM-88 Harm Missiles, designed for suppression of enemy air defenses missions, these missiles target and destroy radar installations, neutralizing threats to allied aircraft. Bolt Flight AIM-120 AMRAM Missiles, for self-defense and air-to-air -air combat scenarios, the Growler can carry AIM-120 missiles, ensuring it remains capable in contested environments. This blend of electronic attack and kinetic strike options underscores the Growler's versatility on the battlefield. Powered by two General Electric F414 GE-400 turbofan engines, the Growler achieves speeds up to Mach 1.8, matching the performance of the Super Hornet. Its agility and speed Enable it to operate effectively alongside strike packages, providing real-time electronic support and protection. The Growler has been actively deployed in various operations, demonstrating its critical role in modern warfare. Notably, it has participated in enforcing no-fly zones and protecting naval assets from aerial threats, showcasing its ability to adapt to diverse mission requirements. To maintain its edge in electronic warfare, the EA-18G is undergoing significant upgrades. The integration of the next-generation jammer is a pivotal enhancement, offering improved jamming capabilities to counter advanced threats. Additionally, the Growler is set to receive an advanced cockpit system featuring a 10x19-inch 19 touchscreen display, enhancing pilot interface and mission management. These upgrades are part of a phased approach, with initial completions expected by late 2025. The Boeing EA-18G Growler epitomizes the fusion of traditional combat aircraft performance with advanced electronic warfare capabilities. Its ability to suppress enemy defenses, protect allied forces, and adapt to evolving threats underscores its significance in contemporary military operations. As upgrades continue to enhance its systems, the Growler is poised to maintain its status as an indispensable component of the U.S. Navy's air power, ensuring dominance in the electromagnetic spectrum well into the future.